All right, so we look at how to create a UML diagram in Eclipse by using the object eight plugins. You can go to help. So <clears throat> we're going to need to install new software. And let's try to see if we can type object 8. There you go. So that's the one that we want, right? So we're going to select on that. I installed it already. I'll see how. I've already too. Oh, already there. Mm -hmm. So then you just follow the instruction step add add, then we install it. Now, how to use this? Let's say we want to do it for the book here. Then we're going to create a file new other. And you should see object eight right there. Right? So we want a class diagram. Right. Now I just name okay, book. That's just the name of the UML diagram. Now, if you want to save it to an image, you can just pick that, right? Mm -hmm. If you want to see the, if you have main using it, we need to include the relationships. Now, we have it right here, right? Book.ucls just created. What we need to do is we need to drag the class onto this book.ucls. Let's say, I'm going to drag this into my book. Let's see if it's easy to drag and drop here. Okay. Yeah, just drag, drag the class into it, like that. Right, so that's your UML diagram name. Right, so you have a relationship show. Mm -hmm. So that's how you use it. And that's it, that's how to create a UML diagram. Now, if you want to look at Java doc also, it's part of the assignments, right? To do Java doc, you can read refer to appendix in your textbook to appendix. You do to asterisk as the multiple like comments, right? Mm -hmm. Then you can type the comments here. Right. So what is this constructor for, right? Comments go here, right? And this is where you do you just do by for all of them. Okay. Like this one you have to specify what do you want to return? Right. Return the title right, of text of the book. Right. And just explain what is this get title class for the method for. So get uh, get title is pretty much just ah. Uh, the same, right? We want to see to show the title of the text of the book, right? So that's the purpose of this method. So you do the same for each of them. All right, just make a comments like that. So now I'm not going to go to all of them. I want to show you something with the parameter here. So for the parameters, you see. Eclipse is going to enter the thing that you want to pass in. You just need to provide the definition. Explain like uh, pass the title of that book right to set right mm -hmm. 
so let's do the title right and set book title right now something like that we we, we just need to do it for all of them right and we do add the method level now we can just also do add the class level too so this one I just show you how to add them right now at the class level we go to the top we have a lot of methods that we need to do so as a class level we just do the same it's going to add the other name which is coming from the login machine mm -hmm. and just say what is the purpose of this right of this class name class used for I uh, used to represent a book something like that and we're going to generate now right so because this is just partial you just need to fill it out for the rest right all the methods to generate we go to project just generate java doc mm -hmm. and you just pick the one that one that we want right and let's click finish uh, it should have the doc doc folder after it's generated like we may see warnings because we didn't put everything in mm -hmm. okay like we have params things like never explain and that's the java doc right mm -hmm. and you see a comments go down here book uh, we did with the name right your name class is to represent the book that's a class level right mm -hmm. and each method is going to have it on like we didn't do all of them but some of them we did that right if you click on it it's just going to take you to returns let me say explain what would it do Anything else?